Hello, and thank you for joining us for Community Crossroads. I'm Carolina Estrain. Let's take a look at what's coming up on today's show. We get to learn more about the YMCA of the Golden Crescent's new STEAM bus, a gala benefiting the education and training of nurses to meet the demand in our region, and the United States Air Force, as well as the Texas AgriLife Extension Office. All right, welcome to Community Crossroads. We are now joined by Bud Oliver with the YMCA of the Golden Crescent, here to talk to us about the new STEAM bus. Welcome to the show. Well, yeah, thanks for having me. And so when did the brainstorming process for this project begin? <laughs> uh, well, it really it came out of a Facebook post. Uh, I had a good friend of mine who was working on a STEM bus in Florida and had posted pictures on his uh, Facebook account and I was looking at it and I said that's pretty cool we have a bus sitting out beside the Y that we're not using so maybe we can turn that into a uh, moving lab for the kids and that's kind of how it started so I went and and visited a few foundations and they were interested so wrote the grants and received those and now we have the bus and it's not just STEM education, it's STEAM education. Yes, we were looking at ways to, uh, to make it a little different and, and to make it more sustainable so the kids didn't have a one and done type experience that they could come in later and, and have something different. So um, we were playing with the words and said, well, you know, we're, we're about a lot of things, health uh, and art also. So uh, that's how STEAM came out. So it's science, health, technology, engineering, art and math. Uh, we were working with um, professors from UHV and from Victoria College who kind of uh, threw out some ideas and so that's how we have the uh, items that are on the bus. And on Thursday you had your big unveiling of the bus. Y yes we did. Uh, Clegg Industries, uh, who uh, is the one who put together the bus, uh, who did all the, uh, the remodeling of it and then uh, uh, Compadre's Designs was the one that wrapped the bus, so you'll see a big blue steam bus heading down the road. You know it's the Y and we're out to the, the schools to, to show the kids uh, what we have on the bus. And y'all will have a full schedule of availability and you know how people can access the bus? Yes, we're, we're working with uh, the school districts. Um, you know, one of the intents of the, the grants was to get the, the bus out to those kids who would normally not see uh, the, the things that we'd have and not have the experience of, of being, uh, you know, introduced to this type of equipment that we have on the bus. Uh, so we'll be out in Edna, you know, Port Lavaca, you know. Uh, all around. All around. We're trying to get out to as wow. many places as possible. And we want the teachers to, to see what we have on the bus and hopefully work that into their curriculum so that when we do visit that the kids can come on and, and get a great experience with the things that we have. Well, I'm excited and I'm sure students around the area are and I do want to share some information about your after school programs. And so those have started again and they start after dismissal? Yes, we're from dismissal to 6.30. We've extended the time a little bit uh, so parents we know are busy and you know, can't get there right at 6 so we've extended it a little bit and uh, we're in seven schools. We've also, uh, we're in the new uh, CLI at FW Gross, so we'll be offering after school uh, at that location. And then we're also in nursery, and we're starting an after school program in Edna uh, this year wow. also. So and you've had after program. school offerings for over 25 years, I believe, for yes. a long time. Yes, that's, uh, we're one of 1,500 and plus YMCAs across the country that offer out of school time. And so we've also contracted with uh, a, um, a place out of Dallas to write curriculum for us. And so we'll have a, a curriculum, new curriculum for the after school program. We're also doing an evaluation of the program to make sure we're doing what we say we're doing in well, the program. Well, that is so exciting. Thank you for joining us on the show to share the great news about the STEAM bus. And I can't wait to see it all in person myself. And up next, be sure to stick around. We have more for you on Community Crossroads. We'll actually get to learn about a gala coming up in DeWitt County.